Hi, I'm Ashy. Welcome to my January alphabet painting series. So this year I decided to choose a New Year's resolution that I feel like is actually doable. And that is to, for the first six, the first 26 days of the year, to paint a small, quick watercolor sketch that corresponds with the letters of the alphabet. This will help me be disciplined and help me paint daily for this first you know, month or so. And hopefully this will help me also build that habit of creativity and just pulling out the paints every single day. And it's just building that habit of creativity. Uh, let me know if you have any New Year's resolutions that you are deciding on for yourself this year. I'd love to hear your different ideas in the comments. So for each of these videos, I'll be using the brand new sketchbook that I'm starting this year. Um, it's Moleskin watercolor album. It's not the highest quality paper, but for quick watercolor sketches, it does the job. Let's jump in. Day 13 is M and M is going to be for mittens. So I'm just going to draw a big kind of rounded shape here and then put a little thumb shape. So this is just another oval here on the side. And then it's gonna taper into the uh, cuff of the mitten. So just get that there and then kind of round that off and into it. And then we're gonna try to do one that matches it over here. So here's bottom and come up sides and that thumb is gonna be here get it similar size and shape though these are gonna be like knitted mittens so sometimes if you if you knit or crochet or do any type of crafts like that. Sometimes you know it's hard to get two that are exactly the same size and shape. So, you know, these are handmade mittens. Maybe they're not quite perfect. If they don't match, they don't match. Exactly. But drawing that second one is always harder. And then I'm just gonna erase some of this line here where I was messing with that shape a little bit. and kind of clean it up. Okay, now I'm gonna put a heart on the back of these mittens and again getting them to look the same as each other might be a challenge so we'll just kind of see play with it so straight down from the middle is going to be the point the bottom point of the heart this side as well. Okay. Kind of erase whatever mistakes I made. And drawing it. And then the same thing over here. So if I kind of look at where the bottom of the heart is, it's kind of the middle of the thumb. So I'm going to do that same thing over here. And then of get the approximate height to be the same and try to draw a similar shape heart. Okay, there are my hearts. Now these are going to be like a off-white color, kind of ivory, 
So I'm gonna take a super light wash of like a grayish brown color. It's kind of my thought. We'll see what it ends up like. So I'm just gonna kind of mix all this stuff that's in this mixing well together and get this like, yeah, grayish brown color, I guess. And just take a really light wash of that and put that over the whole mitten. And the heart is gonna be darker, so I'm not concerned with going over that heart right now with this color, just because it is such a light value that the dark will go over it. Now I guess I should have rubbed out some of the pencil before I started painting, but I forgot. So we're just gonna go for it and try to erase some after. Same thing on the other one. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and mix up a color of really dark blue for the heart part of it. And so I'm just taking, again, just kind of mixing all of these blues together that are in this mixing well. Get them all mixed in together. And then adding a bunch of Payne's Gray to it to get a darker wash of that color. So just a darker value. And then I'm just gonna use that to fill in the hearts. And then I'll go back in and add some texture after it's dry so it'll be a, a wet on dry technique to add the texture so that it's nice and defined to make it look knit. And I'm just using the tip of my brush here for the edge and this brush does come to a pretty nice point so I can get even that um, crisp edge without going down to a smaller brush and hold a little bit more paint so that I don't have to reload as often. Of course, getting that crisp edge has more to do with my hand not shaking than with the brush <laughs> right now. And so I'm just gonna turn my page to get a little bit better angle here to paint the other half of this heart. And then just fill it in. Try to get it nice and even so that it all dries at the same rate. I don't want any puddles in there because then it'll dry at a different rate. So just kind of move that paint around just a little bit. And so you can see here, like this top part is drying faster than the rest of it. So I'm just gonna take some of that paint and move it around a little bit. So that it dries again at a more even rate. It's the goal. Okay, now I'm gonna let that dry and then go in and add some texture on both the kind of background of the mittens and on the heart. So actually the background is pretty dry, so I can go ahead and grab a small brush now, and I'm gonna grab a size zero, and just get my brush wet to start with, but then dry it off, and that's just so that those bristles are not going into the paint completely dry. 
and I'm just gonna take this same wash that I already had. It was pretty watery, but some of that water has started to evaporate, so it's a little bit thicker than it was, plus I don't have as much water on my brush. And then I'm just gonna kind of create little, like, um, V's, but kind of on this part, really dense to make it look like the cuff part. And so it's got little um, ridges here, I guess, to look like the cuff. shadow on the edge too. Okay, so I'm going to do that on this edge too, just create a little bit of a shadow. To start with, and then I'll go back in and do that same texture on this one. So same exact thing. So I'm going to and tilt my book just a little bit and create little V's and then we'll come back for the rest of the mitten. Okay, so these ones I want to be just a little bit more subtle, so I'm adding a little bit more water to the well and then getting a little bit lighter color on my brush and then I'm just going to create little texture marks basically along the mittens. Now I don't knit so I'm sure this is not quite accurate to what knit stitches look like. Um, I think that there's two main ones if I remember right. There's the purl stitch and the knit stitch. Um, but again, I don't do them, so I don't know what they actually look like, but I'm just creating this little dabby in a V-shaped texture on the whole mitten. So again, I'm going to finish this on the two, and then we're going to do that same thing to the hearts. Okay, so then same thing with the slightly evaporated version of the dark blue. And then I'm just gonna do that same little V kind of texture, creating little Vs. And this, again, it's not to make it necessarily look realistic because I don't know how to paint a knit texture exactly, but it just gives it a little bit of texture so that it's not super flat and boring. Bit of texture on those mittens. Now, find my flat wash brush and I'm going to do green for the L. Not an L, M. Try again. <laughs> okay. M.
is four. Grabbing this purpley color, it's called Byzantine, Byzantine, anyway, for my lettering. So mittens. And again, I'm just working on trying to make my word straight and trying to get this like light up heavy down pressure correct on my calligraphy. So we have mittens. M. Also trying to work on spelling the words right because I kind of have trouble with that when I'm thinking about the shapes of the words or of the letters. M. I. T. I don't like that, how that got really fat there, but that's okay. E. N. Mittens. M is for mittens. Day 13, I'm pretty sure. Thanks for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell to see when each of my new videos drops. Have an awesome day.